Hey what's up, I'm Inizalea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create this awesome spin transition. Alright, so that looks really cool, let's jump into Adobe Premiere Pro and see how it's done. enjoy my videos be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to make sure that you get notified when I upload new videos. Alright here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and let's take a look on how to create a spin transition just like this one. Alright so that looks really really cool and yeah let's take a look so I will delete my adjustment layers here so I have two video files which you can download with the link in the description if you want to follow along with this tutorial using the same footage. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. I will go to my project manager and I will create a new item adjustment layer click OK and we can rename this adjustment layer to motion tile and we can drag this on top of our video right here. So what you can do is um, decide how long you want it to be but it may be a little bit like um, 5 to 10 frames. So I will just go to the center and hit 10 frames. Okay. On both sides that's great we have 10 frames on each side and what I will do now is just um, import one of my presets that I made this is from the TC hyper glitch zoom preset uh, which you can download on the website with link in the description but I will be using the TC motion tile effect right here if you don't know how to create this check out our tutorial on the hyper zoom effect I'm not going to explain it again um, but I cover it in that tutorial so once you have done that, we can create a new adjustment layer and rename this to rotation. We can drag this on top of our motion tile. Drag it a little bit longer and here we're going to add the effect transform to. Apply it to that new adjustment layer and change the scale to 300. And there we go. The first thing that I want to do is click on the rotation stopwatch right here and now we have the first stopwatch. We can set this at the beginning of our timeline and then I want to change this to 180 and make sure that the 180 is actually at the very last frame right here. So the last frame of the first footage which is right here. Then the next frame I want to set this to minus 180 but a little bit less than minus 180 because you have to imagine that it's actually in the rotation and everything is going simultaneously so that's what we have here and then right here at the end we can set this back to zero okay so now we have this animation you can also make your video a little bit shorter where it ends and then you can drag them together and select your video footage and just make sure that the keyframes match up again so uh, just make sure that you're actually positioning them well I think right here should be fine let's take a look all right so my keyframes are set up correctly the reason why I'm doing this is if you go to effects video transitions dissolve cross dissolve and apply cross dissolve to those videos make this a little bit shorter this transition that way you're not going to notice the seam at the transition itself so now we're going back to our rotation we have this right here what I will do is select all my keyframes right click and go for a bezier we're going to open up our Bezier by clicking on this arrow right here and this is what we will see. Click away, click in the beginning here, we're going to drag this all the way out and just make sure we have a straight line right here. This I'm going to drag in all the way and same goes for this one, drag it in all the way so we have nothing going on in here. And then for uh, this effect we can actually drag it out as well. So now it's going to ramp up in speed, it's going to come to its maximum speed at 180 and then it's going to shift one frame in between to the other value and then decrease in value that's what it's doing right here okay so let's take a look on what we have okay that looks pretty cool the only thing that is missing is some motion blur so to enable motion blur we're going to the transform again of that adjustment layer and uncheck use compositions shutter speed uncheck that and change the shutter angle to 360 which is the maximum amount that you can do Again, go to sequence, render in to out. And there we have the effect. So that's so simple to create, but it's so awesome. And of course, if you want to save this as a preset, you just go over here and you save preset and you enter 
location transition. There we go. You can add a little description if you want, click OK. And then if we're going to delete this, we're just going to our effects presets right here and, and search for the rotation transition. Apply that to your uh, effect here. And there you will see that you now have this transition, which is uh, really cool actually. Boom. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed watching it, give this video a like and definitely subscribe to the channel. Also check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for filmmakers and video editors. Links in the description. And apart from that, I'll see you later. Goodbye. <laughs>